In this video, we'll discuss how to set up your HMI for remote access using our end-to-end -end encrypted solution, Easy Access 2.0, a VPN that runs on our HMI and allows you to control your application and check in on your operations from anywhere in the world. To begin, when you're trying to set up an HMI for remote access, you'll first need a account. And to do this, you can create a new account at account.ihmi.net. This is what we call the Easy Access 2.0 domain. Under your domain is where you can manage all of your devices and the users and allow specific users to access an HMI remotely. So to begin, if you haven't created an account yet, you'll do that from here. And once you've done that, you can sign in. We're going to sign in under our Maple Systems domain using the administrator account. And when you first log in, you'll just see a list of your users. And then you can go to the Devices tab and see a list of HMIs that have been added to your domain previously. Here we can click on Add HMI, and we have a couple options. Some of our HMIs ship with the Easy Access 2.0 license pre-activated. Many of our advanced HMIs and also our smart CMT HMIs, that is the case. However, for other HMIs, you'll have an activation card that you'll need to be able to use this feature. So if you do have an activation card, you can use that and you'll select that option here. If the license is already activated, instead you'll use this method, add by session ID and password. This is information that we can get from our HMI, from the running EV Pro application. And I'll show you where to get this. And then once we have that, we can assign this to our domain. Let's take a look at this simple application that I set up on our smart server, CMT SVR 202. I'm going to go ahead and connect to it using CMT Viewer. And we're connecting through a local network currently. This is the local IP address. And all I've done in this project is I've added a button to take us to a built-in window. Window number 76 is the Easy Access 2.0 settings window. Anytime you create a new project in EB Pro, this window will already be there for you. You just need a navigation button to be able to pull up the pop-up window here like this. So this is our settings window. And all we need to do is click Start. That will start the service running on the HMI. The HMI will go out and, assuming the license is activated, it will contact the global VPN servers and it will generate a session ID and password for us. And this is what we'll enter into the form here under session ID and password. Now with our CMT HMIs, both the latest generation and the previous generation HMIs, we have a web portal, so an admin dashboard like this. There'll be a tab for easy access 2.0 settings in here. So you just enter the IP address of the HMI and you can pull up this and you can get this session ID and password for the CMT HMIs from here instead if you'd like. If you have one of the basic or advanced HMIs, instead they don't have this web portal. So you'll just need to create a new project and add a button to allow you to get to this pop-up window here for easy access 2.0. So now that we have this session ID, we'll just enter it in here. And we'll copy the password. And then click Assign. Now it says Hardware Key Assigned Successfully. That's great. This, this means that this HMI is now part of our domain. And the next step is to set up our users to allow them to access it. So we'll click Close. And we see that new device here. You can click the checkbox and then click Edit HMI. And from here, we can expand our list of users. I'm going to go ahead and give myself permission to access this HMI remotely, as well as a couple of my colleagues. And I'll click Save. And now all three of these users can access the HMI from anywhere at this point. Now, the next step is each of your users, each of your operators, will need to have their own user account and download the Easy Access 2.0 app. So I'm using this client app here on my PC. You see you can download from our website, maplesystems.com. We also have versions available on Android and iPhone for you. So I'll go ahead and log in now. 
and it's gonna once it logs in it's gonna show me a list of all the HMIs that I as a user have access to and can log on to remotely so at the top of the list here is this HMI CMT SVR 202 show, shows up as online If we go back to the local version of our application here it also shows that this HMI is online part of the maple systems domain now and so we can go ahead and close this and I'll launch a remote session using this connect button when we initiate this connection the HMI will be assigned a virtual IP address as will the local client so that they can talk to each other through the VPN here what we see is a virtual IP address this has been assigned to the HMI that's remote from us now we can use this in order to log in to the admin dashboard again or we can just simply click on the CMT viewer button here and launch the application through the VPN so when we do this we'll see that the status shows up as occupied now that just means one or more remote users is logged into this HMI remotely next we can look at PLC pass-through this red arrow icon, PLC pass-through, if you click on this, you're allowed to enter in up to six IP addresses. These would be devices, controllers, PLCs that your HMI is talking to in its local environment. And so if we say that the HMI has an IP address of 254.51, and let's imagine that we have a PLC at 192.168.254.52, we can go ahead and set this as a pass-through device. And once we do that, then we'll be able to actually get online with that device going through the VPN that the HMI is running. So again, we can set up to six devices at a time to use PLC pass-through, get online with our PLCs and controllers remotely and securely through this end-to-end -end encrypted connection and debug or reprogram them as needed. So that's how we set up PLC pass-through once we've established this secure connection with Easy Access 2.0. So again, all we need in the EV Pro project is to add a single navigation button like this. This one is just displaying a pop-up window. That's the built-in window, number 76, Easy Access 2.0 settings. So that's all we need to get started to be able to add an HMI to our domain. And we showed you how you can then connect to the HMI and even set up PLC pass through from there. We hope you enjoyed this video. We thank you for choosing Maple Systems. Until next time.